back in this video we will learn how we can delete uh, any documents from mongodb automatically so for example let's say if our requirement is like we, uh, when we create any document it should get automatically deleted after some particular time let's say today i created after seven days it should get automatically deleted from mongodb this is one requirement or maybe like let's say you created some document with a with the expiry date and time so on that particular date and time mongodb should be able to no, it should delete that record automatically. So this we can achieve by uh, by creating a uh, creating an index in the MongoDB uh, on that particular collection, and this index is nothing but TTL index. That is nothing but time to live. So how, what we need to do, and this index will work only when you have a field name or sorry, the field value type should be date type. I mean date. If there is no field which is having a date value, then this index TTL index will not work and if you can create uh, this index only on one field not on combination of multiple fields all right so the first i will explain you let's say if you want to delete any particular record after let's say some some seconds so value has to be in seconds so for example in your requirement like you want to delete after uh, seven days then you convert that seven days into those many seconds all right so in in, my, in this example i have created two collections c1 and c2 so this is the one first i am showing like let's say how many records are there Okay, it is having that's a one record right now and I, I'll show you there is no index on that right now. It's like a default one and I'll remove this record also whatever I have created. Okay, so now you can see there is no record in this collection which is empty. All right, now we will be creating index and then I will be while inserting the record I have a field name called date time and I am setting a new date. This is the way we can get set a current date including time and there are some uh, other random uh, properties which doesn't make any difference while creating index you just need to give a uh, first column name which has to be exactly match and it should be of date type second thing expire after seconds that means after how many seconds this document should get expired and automatically get deleted so i'm saying it should get uh, you know get deleted automatically after 90 seconds all right so let me execute all three uh, queries now you can see that there is one record is created with the date time is current and after 90 seconds we'll see whether the record is there or not i'll just again you can see the record is still there now we'll come back after 90 seconds now let's go to the second example which is like c2 it is also having some record i'll remove it and in previous one i, I forgot to show you see that index got created in c2 let's check if, okay so you can see there is no index so far Okay, so all the records are removed in this there is a one small change exactly same uh, in same way we, uh, like the way we have created last time like in the collection c1 index we will be creating in the same way just that we will be setting the value equal to zero so what mongodb will, will do whenever it sees okay expire after seconds value is zero then what it will do it will check the column name so in our case column name is expire at and this should be also of date type and whatever is the date or a time whatever it is mentioned over it it will delete the record automatically at that particular time so for example let's say in this i'll just copy this uh, time which is this current one and uh, what i'll do i'll just set it here okay now what i'll do i want to say i want to delete this record at when it's like a 43 or i will say 44 okay so now like right now you can see it's 42 when it become 44 this record should be deleted so i'll create okay the record is created we comment this one and this window one also i'll comment it you can see now record is there it should get deleted at when when the time is like 44 22 44 right now it's 22 43 okay and i'll just show you index is also created at column name is expired now let's go to the p1 which i think 90 seconds are already over let me comment these two so that it should not get executed again okay you can see the record is deleted right there's no record on that i'll create one more record you can see now record is created now we'll come again come back after 90 seconds and we'll see if the record is created deleted or not let's check what is the state right now it's 43 still we need to wait for close to i think 40 seconds more so we'll wait meanwhile while just uh, yeah still not deleted we'll wait 
this one i'll comment it and like see it. okay still record is there so in both the collections c1 and c2 both the records are there so first one should get deleted only after uh, once the 90 seconds are over and the second one should get deleted at when the time is 44 so now you can you can see it's 44 and it's crossed 13 let me try to execute it and there is one more thing it won't delete upfront immediately because that cycle used to happen per 60 seconds i mean like the, when mongodb will check every 60 second it will check not in let's say if you are getting okay delete the record after 10 seconds so it won't delete exactly at 10 seconds it will delete per minute basis because it's the, the cycle of checking that local where you have to delete or record or not it will happen only per minute basis all right so you can see now okay still we need to wait some more time maybe how about the previous condition let's see C1 also not deleted. Okay, so you can see the C2 record got deleted, but it got deleted, you know, 44 like after 30 seconds. So you got the point, right? Now let's check the C1. Okay, C1 is also deleted. So in case of C1 collection, we are deleting it after every after 90 seconds when the record is created and in case of the c2 example we are particular uh, we are deleting the records automatically at a particular date time all right that's pretty much about this video thank you very much